October the 7th, uh, 2014. It's been several months since we've been out here to our water station and uh, got a full supply of water, so things are looking good. I've got a pit blind here that I'm working on. I'm going to pre-mark my hole, figure out where my actual pit needs to sit, and then uh, I'm going to back it out, bring the digger spade in, dig my trench out. So. Stay tuned. I'm glad you came along. Hopefully we'll have some fun here and uh, we'll make one heck of a hunting blind when all this is said and done. So stay tuned. Here's my pit material. It's made from hardy board concrete, so that should resist or slow the rotting process. Plus, you'll have the top that covers the pit, so hopefully I never have to replace this. Concrete's not going to rot. So I'm going to sink it down in the ground, level it up. Okay, pits leveled. I've got an approximate inch and a half lip protruding out. Next step is I'm going to bring the blind in, set it, rotate it, true it up. There should be an overlap like that. Got rebar welded on the inside of the blind coming inward. Now I've got my brace holes here. We'll tie that, put our mesh in, and pour concrete. And uh, shouldn't take a whole lot of concrete. I don't know that I'll get to the concrete uh, this afternoon, but for sure in the morning we'll finish it out. And uh, I don't think this blind will be able to go anywhere the way it's set up. So let's go to the next step. Okay, I've got my rebar tied in, coming out from the pit to the blind, all the way around, not very thick, obviously uh, it's not going anywhere, I just need it to keep the bugs and the snakes mainly out. So I'm going to mix a little concrete, see how far we get, it's going smooth, uh, actually ahead of schedule where I thought I might be, so mix a little mud now. We got the ground blind all assembled and and mudded in. Got all the concrete done. You can see that I just got through pouring the floor. It's not very thick, but the main design of it is to keep out the gophers and the snakes and the burrowing critters. So uh, pretty tickled with how it ended up. There's my door. It's got a kind of a one-way view on it. It's got a camo on the outside, kind of a netting that uh, I can look out, but hopefully nothing can look in. And uh, you can see the bench or the seats around the edge of it. 
and then right outside the window here is the water just over that little weed right there and then if you look just around the bend here you can see the feeder I uh, really don't like having the feeder in the background if I'm shooting video I'll do some scattered corn right out in front here and uh, both distances are about 12 yards so it's Sunday at lunchtime gonna clean everything up now and we'll take a look at the outside of it you can see uh, even with the door open on the blind it's pretty dark inside so uh, pretty tickled with the end result we'll get to do a test run right around Thanksgiving time and see what see if we can have any luck and smooth the back of the dirt down around the blind so there's the blind water and the feeder so we'll see you later